Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Golden Globe nominated actor you know from movies like A Beautiful Mind and as Vision in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He stars in a very British scandal, which is streaming now on Prime Video. Let's take a look. I'm sorry, but I just, I don't like it. Oh, I can't put you down if everything's looking. Oh, no, you're going to drop me. I'm not going to drop you. Oh, could you please put me down? Please. Yeah, you're down. Happy? Please welcome back to the show, Paul Bettany, everybody. Welcome back. Nice to be back. It has. Why haven't you had me back? I well, I was waiting for you to do good work, Thank and you. Um, <laughs> and I life. really enjoyed this show a great deal. <laughs> but you, uh, so this is based on a, a real life scandal, the Duke and Duchess of Argyle, yep. which sounds made up, I but know. in that really awesome sort of British way, those were real people. They really were. Yeah, yeah, and he was dreadful. Yeah, he was a real bad guy, yeah. and you really you own it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was it was it was disturbing how quickly I came and fell into character. <laughs> yeah. was, it was really nice. It was a nice palate cleanser because uh, you know the vision is sort of warmth personified. Yeah. It was, it was nice to go and play a little uh, you know bit yeah. of an ass. He was a real yeah. He's a full <laughs> heel. That was a really good <laughs> clip because it gives you a good sense of how the marriage is just off to a bad start yeah, right that's from the right, gun. That's right off the bat. This is. Did you know uh, much about this scandal? I. Didn't it, it was sort of in the played out in the 50s and 60s, and um, it's gonna be hard for you to believe, but it was slightly before my <laughs> time. Oh, no, I believe that, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so no, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. And uh, I guess that speaks to this thing that I've often thought, which is maybe I think us Americans assume that every British person is deeply invested in sort of the royal family and, and its offshoots, but that's maybe not the case. Well, I think because you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, that's you true, know? yeah. Uh, uh, you, have, so you have a resentment about having to pay for every it. Every time those kids get married, it's like 36 million <laughs> pounds of taxpayers. So and watch... you can see it on the tax bill? Yeah, and you can, you, you, well, what you get is you get to watch some medieval procession that you don't really understand going yeah. on for, for 36 million pounds. Uh, Claire Foy uh, was in The Crown. She uh, was, yeah. And wonderful in The Crown. It's Very wonderful great. to see her in this. You weren't in The Crown. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, you're 100% right. I'm like the only British actor that hasn't yeah. been in the crowd. That's what I was kind of getting or at. Or Harry Potter. Yeah. I mean... Truth is, uh, I'm actually uh, from Hoboken. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and I just, I just do this for work. It's really good. Thank you very much. I mean, for somebody from Hoboken, <laughs> it's very, yeah. very convincing. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, uh, your parents were actors. They were, yeah. Did they, was this something that, from a very young age, you thought you were going to jump into? No, I didn't want to do it at all. Because I, of, of watching them? Or? It's just a bit silly getting dressed up in other people's yeah. clothes. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so I, yeah, I wanted to be a guitar player. I wanted to be a guitar player, <laughs> and I just wasn't very good. So I, uh, I sort of fell into acting. I, yeah, that's how that happened. Dude, so how do you fall into it? Does somebody just get, kind of say like, "Hey, you"? Well, I was living with these. I had two roommates, and I was a busker on the streets. And the the two roommates did a midnight flip and left me with the rent. And the landlord took my guitars, and so I sort of rung my parents up and went, "I failed." And I thought, "What am I going to do with my?" I guess I'll do some acting. And yeah. So that's really how it happened. You have children now. Have, do you think you would recommend acting to them? God, no. OK. <laughs> no. Are you afraid, though, that they might? I mean, again, you live an interesting life. Are you worried they're going to see it and be like, I want to do it? Well, I've got two. I've got three kids. Two I've, uh, I've put off acting. I've got one left to put off acting. My, yeah. my, my eldest child is a aeronautical engineer. Really? Yep. He's not biologically mine, which is why he's an yeah, aeronautical yeah. Eng <laughs> engineer, because he wasn't encumbered with my math gene. Oh, right. Which, uh, I haven't understood a word he said to me since he was 10. Really? Yeah. That, so he's that far advanced uh, from you in maths and yeah, science? Yeah, no idea. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be hard. <laughs> Not really, because there's my wife. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. Because my wife, because of my accent, my wife thought I was super clever and stuff. And, um... <laughs> Because you get away with it with a British accent, and she actually she went to Yale initially to to study physics, and um, 
and she met me and she thought I was really smart. And I actually left school at 16. <laughs> and it was, it was just awful watching the light die in her eyes as she, <laughs> she realized actually how deeply stupid and, <laughs> and ill-educated I am. Before dinner parties, does she tell you like, maybe don't talk too much? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Let other people do the talking. Yeah. You know, that British thing where you nod and go. Oh. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Um, are your kids? Uh, are your kids? Are, do they like, for example, being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is that something that your kids think is cool? That that your their dad's an Avenger? Uh, yes, but they torture me uh, with it. My daughter would all, has has moved through all the different Avengers that, that uh, as her favorite. It's okay. never, never me. Yeah. And. Um, <laughs> And actually, just recently, I, I turned on, uh, I wanted to watch uh, Moon Knight, which is fantastic. A fantastic uh, show really. with, yeah, Oscar and Ethan. Exactly. Yeah. And I, um, I tried to log into my, um, my Disney Plus account, and they had edited my profile. Yeah. And I believe. Yeah, we have it here. So this is, again, one of your children did this. Yeah, I have my suspicions, but I don't actually okay. know who. This is very cruel. <laughs> I mean, so maybe, maybe you're all beginning I, to build up some, yeah. you know, picture of my home life. I, what I like is that that, I feel like that's the face Vision would make on the day he found out he won that. It's not even me, it's a model. <laughs> it's a me. model, it's not, they didn't even use you. <laughs> they didn't even use me, it's... That must have been, um, you know, I got to talk to Elizabeth about it. That must have been such, uh, WandaVision must have been an incredible show to do as an actor just because it spanned so many different genres. Yeah, it was a real, there was a real joy. And we were, we had no, we didn't feel any pressure because we were supposed to come second out of the gate. And we thought we were going to be the sort of kooky niche yeah. show that, you know, five people would watch, but those five people would really love it. And uh, then we came out first and we kind of <laughs> ourselves. And then, and then it w went down really well. But it was, it was so, um, it was so lovely. I, I grew up watching those sitcoms. You know, I, I yeah. grew up watching the Dick Van Dyke Show in in London. They in England they would play it on you know, reruns on Saturdays and Sundays, and I sort of had in my head, <clears throat> I know what these shows. I know what Dick Van Dyke does. And then I went back to sort of you know research them, and they are brilliant. He's brilliant. Yeah. The, the, they really are. They're so well choreographed. Everything about it. And they shot them in two days. Yeah, I mean, it was extraordinary. And you actually shot. I guess the first episode was actually in front of a live studio audience. Yeah. And what was the, when was the last time you had performed in front of a live studio audience? Uh, so 25 years prior <laughs> to that. And I was really resistant. I really didn't want to do it. And I, I said, I think this is a really bad idea. And they said, well, we think it's the only way we can sort of get the energy that they have where they're projecting past the cameras to an audience. And I said, OK, OK. And I was so nervous. And then I, I, I got on stage, I got my first laugh. And I'm so shallow that I was like, I've wasted my entire life. <laughs> I should be doing sitcom. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah. Well, it paid off. I think we're all very happy you've managed to find a way to do both. And thanks so much for being here. It's been so too long. Come back again sooner. Paul Metney, everybody. A Very British Scandal is streaming now on Prime Video.